G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'll be going over my last week's tips, seeing how many I got right and how many I got wrong, and moving forward to round 18 to give you my tips for this weekend's action. So, pretty good week for me, I must say. I got 8 out of 9, I'll take that awesome bloody week for me. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Not COVID. All right, starting the week, I took the Cats to beat the uh, Demons. I thought the Cats would win this one quite comfortably. I backed them by three goals. They actually won this by a lot more. I think 28 is the margin there. So 10 more points on top of what I said. No, I, I'll take that. Not, not a bad prediction, to be honest. So good win for the Cats. Um, Swans absolutely trounced the Bulldogs, so good tip for me. North Melbourne put up a very good fight against Collingwood, but Collingwood were too good in the end. Uh, Suns win after the Sirens, so there's another couple of good tips for me. Obviously, most people tipping Collingwood there, but uh, the majority of people actually back the Tigers in this one. So two big thumbs up for me, man. I will take that. And I'd love to see the Suns play finals footy. How good would that be? All right, next up, Fremantle against St. Kilda. I see a lot of people actually back the Saints in this one. I couldn't do that. I had to take Frio. Even, like, at Marvel, I think Frio were always going to be too good. The Saints are hitting a bit of a wall at the moment, and I do think they'll miss finals now. Next up, Port Adelaide had a good win over the Giants. The Lions was my bloody downfall. Only tip I got wrong, and the Lions ended up losing by 10. Really poor game by the Lions. Like, I thought Essendon played pretty good, but not great either. The Lions really just, they were they were horrible. Um, I did watch this game from start to finish. The only two games of the week I watched, sorry, three games I watched from start to finish were the Suns game, the Lions game, and the Eagles game. Uh, I thought for the most part the Lions were absolutely terrible. However, the ref did uh, did make some pretty dodgy calls going towards uh, Essendon's way. So, well, the Lions were a bit unlucky with some of the calls, but at the end of the day, they just didn't play good enough to win this one. Uh, backed Hawthorne to beat Adelaide. Obviously, that one came through. I thought it wouldn't marvel. Adelaide have been good at home, just not away. And then I uh, backed against my boys once again. I can't tip West Coast this year. I just can't uh, backed against them. Carlton got a good win over them. I will give the Eagles credit. They fought for about, uh, well, they put 40 points on in the second quarter, but then they, it just all fell apart after the third. Um, yeah, I was, I was disappointed with how the Eagles played for the most part, but they did compete at stages. And I just hope we can take, we can move that momentum and, Hopefully start to see a little bit of improvement. So, yeah, not a bad week for me. Only one wrong. A bit disappointing that it was the Lions. But, hey, look, it is what it is at the end of the day. All right, next up. This Friday, we've got the Western Bulldogs against the Saints. Now, I'm not confident about this game. I think this game could go either way. I am going to back the Doggies in it, but not, uh, not full of confidence. Go on the Dogs by 11. Um, St. Kilda have been extremely disappointing. Uh, the Bulldogs have also been fairly disappointing as well. So I don't have high hopes for this game, but I do think the Doggies will get the uh, the win there. All right, next up, we've got the Adelaide Crows against Collingwood. Collingwood should win this quite comfortably, but I wouldn't be surprised if Adelaide do put up somewhat of a fight. Um, Collingwood are going to want a big bounce back game after that. Pretty disappointing game against North Melbourne. All right. GWS against the Lions. Another team that's going to want a big bounce back. I think the Lions are absolutely going to flog GWS. I don't see GWS coming remotely close to uh, beating the Lions this week. I think the Lions are going to be hungry. And we'll see a 30-plus point win. All right. North Melbourne against Richmond. Now, I do think this could be a danger game for the, for the Tigers. Um, Richmond came out and played quite well against Collingwood, almost getting the win. I don't think they'll have enough in them to beat the Tigers. So I am backing Richmond, 
but don't rule the Kangas out of this one. The Kangas could end up uh, upsetting this team. I really think they could. Next up, we've got the Cats against Carlton. I've got to tip the Cats. I just think they're going to be way too good. The Cats are on an amazing... They're having an amazing season this year. Tied for first with Melbourne and Fremantle, but for and against has got them the number one spot. So they're looking really good up there, and I wasn't expecting them to hit the top of the ladder. I won't lie about that. But, uh, yeah, next up, Frio against the Swans. At home, I think Fremantle will get a decent win here against the Swans. Fremantle really need to start putting their foot in now and getting good wins come the end of the season. Uh, Hawthorne against West Coast. I think this is a game West Coast can be competitive in for the whole four quarters. Um, do I think they'll win? No, I'm back in the Hawks. I'd love to tip my Eagles. And this is a game they could realistically win. I just don't see it happening. I've got to back uh, Hawthorne. Next up, we've got Demons against Port Adelaide. I think the D's win this one quite comfortably. Um, should be a good game there, but... Uh, yeah, look, the Demons, they, they need a good bounce-back game after that big loss to uh, the Cats. And I think they're going to do that at the hands of Port... At, you know, that they're going to do that to Port Adelaide, I should say. Finally, we've got Essendon against Gold Coast. Essendon upset Brisbane at the Gabba. This could potentially be the game of the round. Um, Essendon technically, I believe, can still make finals. I don't see it happening... But this, to me, is a must, must-win game for the Suns. I'm back in the Suns. I think they will get the win there. But, uh, yeah, going to be a good round of footy, I reckon. So, no real upsets this week for me. Um, I've, I've taken every one of the favourites. So, I'm going safe this week. Hopefully, we get another high round. That would be bloody nice, I tell you right now. All right, that is going to wrap it up for me, though, guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.